All right, let's get this day going. What's up guys? How's it going? Mark from 408. I finally got a haircut and I cut my beard. It has been two months since I got a haircut, since my birthday actually in December before Christmas. And uh, yeah, so obviously we went to lockdown after that and I just been acting like a homeless person. So anyways, we are going to buy something today. Obviously you already know what it is because you clicked on the video. We're going to buy a snowmobile. So I got lots of hundreds here, lots of hard earned money that I had to work for, work my butt for. But a nice thing about YouTube and snowmobiles is they'll just make more money and they'll pay it back. So yes, I should probably put this money into something else, but this is, I'm investing in a snowmobile. So most people who buy a snowmobile lose money when they buy it, but this will pay for itself, no problem. I know it's a little late in the season, but we had some stuff, things happen and you know, better late than never. And the best thing about this snowmobile is I'm gonna use it all year. I'm gonna grass drag it, water skip it, everything with it. So we're gonna try and get a few videos before the snow melts. It's supposed to be like plus five, plus seven all week even though we had like two snowstorms yesterday and the day before, but we're gonna make it happen. So I gotta pick up my Carhartt sweaters, got them embroidered. Then I just gotta go out to the farm, go for a rip with Nala. She's back there having a snooze. Hey, Nala. Hey. <laughs> so we'll go let her run around and then we're gonna pick up the snowmobile this afternoon. So. Let's burn some cash. What would you guys do with all this cash? Should I just do a giveaway instead? <laughs> all right, let's roll. Holy, it's like it's raining. That snow is melting quick. And I just got a boot full of it. There's thick snow. Great for building snowmen or snow for, but I don't know how long she lasts. So just grab this ramp of the shop, the old DGRP. Pretty cool ramp. So basically you drive up it, then it pivots right here. All the way it goes to the front, and basically you just lift it up super light and it just rolls on the wheels. So you can load your sled super easily. Whew. It was a bit of a pain to pull it out of the shop. There was like a freezer on it. Oh, Nala, you want out to play? You want to go run around? You're itching to go, eh? Yeah. Good girl. <laughs> she don't like my gloves. Anyways, I'm gonna load this thing up. We'll head to the house. Uh, what do I have to do with the house? Oh, I'll show you my the Carhartt shirts. They look good. Picked them up. We're good to go. All right, you can ride around now. Be free! Yay! Go pee and poop on everything. Go. Go. <laughs> All right, let's head up to the house. She can chase us. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, the Do what you want. You're the dog. You own the world. We just live in it. Oh, I wish the snow would stay. I don't want it to go. Time to do some sled wheelies. Oh well, I'm gonna be heading out west end of March to do some mountain snowmobiling anyway. Going out for jumping season. I usually go out during powder season, but I uh, figured jumping season would be more crazier. Oh, look at her go. Just racing, racing the truck. All right, so I got back from snowboarding yesterday. I'm just letting all my stuff air out. It was, uh, it was quite moistly yesterday, so. It was a good day of riding, I'm very sore today. I actually, this is the first time I rode this year, so glad I got done, but I think winter is pretty much over. So first things first, these are the Carhartt sweaters that Carhartt sent over, and then I took them in, got them embroidered. So they turned out super well. As you can see, we got the 408 there. I'll try it on. I haven't even tried it on yet, so hopefully it fits. Ah. I've never had a zip up Carhartt sweater before. I saw it on the website and I got them to send it over. So usually you put the logo right here, but I've been switching it up lately. I want to put it up here. So I feel like it looks good. 
But uh, yeah, they sent over a few different colors. We got charcoal and silver. We got blue and silver. And, and that's it. So I see some packages have arrived as well. So Kemi Moto has, um, I don't know if you guys know about them, but they make uh, ATV parts, accessories, doors, uh, you know, mirrors, that sort of stuff. But I also found out they make some other stuff as well. Oh look, recall for Ford, recall for Ford. We'll just throw those in the garbage. Oh, got a package. But uh, anyways, yeah, so Kemi Moto sent these over. Um, obviously it's a little late in the season, but uh, that's fine. These are heated gloves. These are more like a motorcycle glove style. They got a little carbon fiber there. The protective knuckles but uh, the battery is not in them right now but basically there's three different settings you know low medium high and just hold that down and they last for about six hours so there's that set and then there's these set these are more winter style gloves but same thing six hours the battery just goes in here and then yeah low medium high that lights up it's pretty cool red blue green ring you feel like you're in tron and then they're supposed to send over a heated vest too, but they were out of my size. So hopefully that comes in the mail. That's probably what this is. <laughs> but uh, here's the other things. They sent over heated socks. So they're uh, a little thicker, super soft and comfy, but the battery just slides in there. And uh, same thing for everything. Six hours, the battery lasts. So yeah, all right, let's head to the post office. We'll pick up that package. I just got everything drying out here. And then we're gonna go pick up that snowmobile. So let's keep it going. <laughs> come on, come on, get the tail, get the tail. Oh, good girl, get the tail. Oh, <laughs> good girl. Oh, I love you, Nana. What a day. I can't believe how warm it is. Like, it's basically long sleeve or hoodie weather out right now. And a toque. It's a little chilly without the hair. Huh. And we finally got the snowblower going to right in time for winter to end. So just walking over here, I probably should get actual boots. Yeah, it's deep. So anyways, that's the generator room. If anyone's ever wondering, there's just a generator for the house in there, a giant one. And there's some stuff in there, not much, but I think there's a canoe in there, an old beat up canoe. <laughs> and uh, the little trolley for the, for the snowmobile. So I gotta go dig that out. Let's find some boots first. <laughs> Look at her. She loves it out here. You're a country dog, you need space. Good girl. Who's a good girl? Get the tail, get the tail, get the tail, Nala. <laughs> get it, get it. <laughs> oh, she definitely burns a lot of calories out here, that's for sure. Get the tail, get the tail. Now, uh, you sit, you sit. <laughs> she only listens to me if we're inside. Once you're outside, she's her own dog. Sit, Now, shake your paw. She, <laughs> she just wants to play out here. She's very smart though. She does sit, bang, bang. I love you. Now, bang, 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 bang. No, we're just playing get the tail right now. <laughs> oh, Nada, you cracked me up. <laughs> just leapfrogging through the snow, are ya? Anyways, this is it. Pretty exciting stuff. I don't even know what this is. We got some uh, garbage, some egg cartons. Parts off my old, old, old truck to lift it up. There's a shovel. That's a two-up seat from a skidoo 15 years ago. And the old beer new. And the generator, look at this weapon. You should see this thing fire up. She is loud and she rolls the coal. This is what I was looking for though. Taking this. <laughs> Let's roll. Blows my mind how people wrap things and send them to me. Do they not realize the more tape you use, the heavier it is, the more it costs to ship it? <laughs> oh well, let's open her up and see what it is. No, no. Hey, what are you doing? You're excited, eh? That was a good run. We had a good run, didn't we? Didn't we? Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Smells like dog breath in here. 
Uh, yes, more stuff from Kemi Moto. We got a mirror finally. I threw a brand new one on mine a couple months ago, and then Brad smashed it with his big old head. And then this is a mirror for Brad's machine, little 570. There was supposed to be a lot more stuff, but you know, they always come in 40 different packages. All right, let's get out of here and go get that sled. Get me moto. Well, had some time to kill, so I was in the area, swung by the old Ford dealership, and look what I found. 2021 Platinum. Doesn't have the big mirrors though. Pretty nice in there, loving that big screen. Everything looks pretty similar. What about the paint? I think mine's just kind of dirty. Love how they put this vent on here. Very stylish. Loving these new front ends too. Should I do it guys? Should I should I get a freshie? <laughs> so nice. Oh man. You got the power in the back. You got the work tailgate. Fucking good. So this is the beast, the 2018 600 RS. It's a Bailey sled, as you can see. How many miles are on it? 400. 400. <laughs> we'll start her up in a second here, but yeah. Basically, he drove it once. Was this a race or practice sled? It was, it was uh, McCoy's race sled. Oh, it was McCoy's? Yeah. Oh, okay, he's going to be jealous. <laughs> but I got it now. Anyways, so uh, yeah, so the difference between a trail sled and a race sled, skis are a little wider, they're built a lot stronger, they're a lot cheaper, there's no oil injection or uh, electric start. Is it 137? 129. 129, okay. And then, yeah, 96 studs and giant paddles, and it just stands up like it owns the place. And I'll fire it up. Piss off the neighbors. skipping water with it and we are back i definitely was going over the speed limit there whoops whatever luckily i was following a guy and he was driving really fast so i just followed him anyways made her back didn't fall out of the truck that's always a win loving this uh ramp still the dgrp it is very handy i know some people were saying well you know if you take it to the trail and leave it there someone's gonna steal it yeah i'm sure that might happen but you know if you're just going to your buddy's house Whatever, you just drive her up, lift her on, go. Saves saves a lot of time and back pain, that's for sure. I would rather, you know, have that ramp than be lifting it and hurt my back long term. But let's take this thing for a rip and see if we can piss off the neighbors. We still got a good amount of snow. It is misting right now. I imagine by next week all the snow is gonna be gone, but that's fine because I bought this thing to water skip and do crazy stuff. So but we'll try and get some snow videos in between. Let's uh, fire up and get her unloaded. <laughs>
They got to loosen the straps off, got her wheeling. She uh, wheelie's pretty good, I just couldn't get her straight up there. But. And uh, it has reverse. So once it warmed up, the idle dropped down to normal, and the reverse works now. The race sets don't have reverse, but we got this one tuned so it does have it. Night and day. See so us push this button. that GoPro video turned out because it is kind of misty outside but I came over a hill hit another hill hit some good powder well not powder but deep snow and she wheeled straight out no problem <laughs> he did put a trail flap on the back he did give me the race flap but I might just keep this one on so when you reverse you don't run it over the trail flaps just a literally a big flat piece of plastic but I get this thing put away and Jay's coming over tomorrow, we're gonna do some filming. Then Hill's coming over Friday, we're gonna do some filming. So hopefully we can get five, six videos out of this thing before uh, all the snow disappears. I know, best month of snowmobiling we've had in, you know, eight years, eight, 10 years. And of course I pick up a sled at the end of the season, but whatever, either way, this thing's sick. I'm gonna be hitting all the snow drifts. I'm gonna be hitting the river, maybe even take it to the beach. We'll see what happens. Thank you guys for watching. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. I got to get out of here. It's date night. We're going golfing. Indoor golf, of course. And uh, thank you again, Derek. Thank you again, Bailey Motorsports. I used to race uh, snow bikes for Bailey's. So I was going to buy this sled originally when they sold it. And then I kind of waited. Derek bought it, tuned it, rode it once. And then I bought it. So a couple years later, better late than never. <laughs> Have a fantastic day. We'll see you guys later.